I've completed the album finally after 10 years. It's taken a long time, and um, I expect um, I expect nothing. But I just know that I've come up with the goods, and if people like it, inshallah, they will they will buy it, download it. That'll be great. Okay, so you, if I'm not wrong, you had a tour of Pakistan recently. Yeah. So how was it, and what do you say about Pakistan and Pakistanis? My brothers. <laughs> it's, I loved it. I had such a great time. It was absolutely superb. And that includes all the problems of, in Pakistan. You know, Bati Aage, Bati Chalige, all the business. It was, um, it woke me up to the, the problems that people have. You know, the electricity cuts, the water cuts, the, the fuel, the petrol, all these problems. But even so, people there are, do have a a very happy and friendly disposition. I loved it, personally. You know, I was immediately looking about. It's funny how people want to move away, but I want to move back. <laughs> That's how I feel. But in general, I found that people did come out, and um, especially uh, the youth, music. You know, they want to play music. They want to have their own music scene. So I don't think anything's going to stop them. I, I, I mean, I don't want to tempt fate, obviously. But um, I just know what's in people's hearts that I met and they want to have a life, they want to enjoy a life. They, they don't want to feel like they're oppressed, they don't want to feel paranoid and unsafe all the time. So I think they're quite brave actually, most people. You know, I wish people would have a listen and see what they think. Um, it's an aspect of um, Pakistani music. I'm a Pakistani musician. Obviously, um, the, the rest of the band, which is Dalbir Singh Ratan, he represents India, and I represent Pakistan. And we made this music together, which is um, it's the diversity of Asian culture, as far as I see. We don't fit into a certain category. We created a new category, and you know that's what we are. We're a huge nation of people. What, so why isn't our music as diverse as our culture? So. It's going to be a good night. Um, everybody's here to see uh, Aziz play the album live. Um, he's done little bits uh, before this, but this is his first real showcase. Okay, if I'm not wrong, this is his second album. So, can you tell us about a bit about album, what kind of music it has, and where people can find it? It's um, an album all about where he is now um, and where he's grown up in Rushholm. Uh, it's called it Rushholm Rock. Um, it's talking very much about his journey to be who he is. So there's some tracks on there, which has got some great music he's written with Paul Weller and Ian Brown. Um, so there's a lot of sort of pop orientated music. He does a, a wonderful cover of a Clash song, which is also the single. Um, and he does some really intense uh, traditional type music in a new way. Um, that's in tracks called Morassi, which people absolutely love. It's only 10 minutes long. Um, and one piece in particular he wrote for his father after he passed, which is called Heaven's Rain. I'm a student of tabla. Uh, I play the tabla with disease, obviously, and um, I do a little bit of singing, a little bit of backing vocals, but I'm not by no means a, a professional singer. So, yeah, so tabla is um, my main instrument, and that's what I do with the band. Well, my connection with disease is that he's, my, um, he's the other half of the band, um, and uh, I met Aziz over 10 years ago uh, on a, at a festival in South Africa, of all places, actually. Um, yeah, we were doing something with some friends of ours and um, we met um, there and, you know, the rest is, uh, I mean, this is over 10 years, 15 years nearly, and the rest is history. So we've been working together since then and just, um, you know, collaborating. The music's just taken its own form, um, you know, so it's more a meeting of minds 
um, that's that's come together and yeah, it's, you know, and that's here we are in 2012. <laughs> Expectations, I don't know. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, you know, I think it's um, it's a very it's a variety. It's a tally of our you know of music. You know, uh, you've got a whole buffet there of music, um, so a variety of things. So you might like some, you might not. You know, you might like all of it, you might not. It's, you know, it's entirely up to the listener. We just hope it, you know, people hopefully will enjoy it. I'm just here basically because of my Guruji, you know, Shri Sukhwinder Singh, um, who the world know them as Pinky. You know, I'm really very lucky to um, have, um, you know, just taken a drops of um, drops of this um, wonderful art. Um, so all, all thanks to them. Yeah, it's a lot of training, um, a lot of practice. Uh, but if you have a, 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 a great guru or a great ustad, then you can, you know, you can, you, you know, they can show you the, they can show you the path. And I believe, you know, all down to my guruji and obviously my family as well. I know that I like the fact that it's really fluid and it's not blues or jazz or rock and roll or classical, but it's his own world and his own artistry and own genre so I, I like that I love that kind of fluid mix that's really unique. I've known of Aziz's music for a long time big fan of his his guitar playing uh, but we've never actually met Aziz before this evening so it's really good to play with him from our uh, perspective but we've played in this venue Powers Bar um, quite a few times so that's why we know why, why we've got this gig tonight, and it's it's good to be supporting as he is. I like his um, he's coming from um, similar background in some way with his musical inspiration. Um, um, I remember him when he joined the Stone Roses, and I was a huge huge fan along with my siblings of the Stone Roses and the Manchester scene. And when he joined, um, I took the lead guitar guitar you know the lead in playing guitar in the band. Um, and being Pakistani, um, you know, it was just amazing to see somebody, you know, from my culture um, being a part of a band that I actually loved and also bringing a different element to the sound. And I've heard him play um, along with Ian Brown and, and it, there's an Asian influence there, but there's many influences. So I'm, I, I think it's fantastic. There's real um, passion behind his music. The lyrics have a real meeting, which I connect with being a British Asian as well. And I just really feel uh, very connected to his music. But it's the blend of blues music, uh, the Asian uh, sound that comes through there, pop, rock, all mixed into one. A unique sound, it's absolutely outstanding. There's nothing like this out there, so I'm very excited and I'm pleased to be part of this as well and to be a friend of Aziz.